Here's the wiring diagram of a FEDA 605 AA5 radio. And I'm going to use this wiring diagram to go through the automatic volume control of this radio. And let's take a look at the radio. It's a really a nice little set. Fitzgerald with local radio's largest news team, News Talk 680. Here's the radio we're going to use. Your traffic and accu weather update. This nice fader. A bit of a slowdown right around US 1. WPTI. For a sun-filled sky today. Your money news from the Wall Street Journal. S&P futures up more than six. Nasdaq. Your sports a model. Taylor Zarzer. Milwaukee beat Atlanta four to three. And you. First thing in the morning every week. Zero five. Zero five. July seventh here. News Talk 680. WPTI. Right here at home, the Farm Bureau insurance companies provide drivers like you the protection they need on their automobiles and the peace of mind that goes with it. Here's a closer look at the front end of that FEDA radio. And let's start with the 12SQ7, pin 5. This part of the circuit really doesn't uh, contribute much to the AVC. Most of the time, or quite often I should say, uh, one of the diodes is just left open, not connected at all, or they connect them both together and they both go up to the top of the coil of the second IF. This drawing shows the real working part of the automatic volume control which is pretty much identical in most AA5 radios. Starting at pin 4, that plate can only conduct when it's positive, so that means that if we go over to that coil at the top, that means that if the top of that coil is positive, that means that the bottom of the coil is negative. And this negative voltage is fed through a couple of resistors over to the volume control and eventually it makes its way down through that one meg resistor and down to the dot zero five microfarad capacitor. It's this capacitor that stores the negative voltage. Note that I've got the polarity marked here. This time the ground is positive and the top of the capacitor is negative. So if we get a strong station, that means a higher negative voltage and dot zero five capacitor is going to store more voltage in the negative direction. Now let's take a look and see where that voltage goes. If we go straight up through the coil, now we're just talking about the DC voltage, it goes over to the control grid of the 12SK7. Then we go over to the left up through the antenna. It goes up to the middle grid of the 12SA7. Now as the negative voltage increases, this decreases the ability of the first two tubes to amplify, thus limiting the volume. Now if we go off station, or if the station gets weaker, that dot zero five capacitor will start discharging, start going in the positive direction, and the tubes will start amplifying more, increasing the volume. This drawing shows the path that the negative DC voltage takes when the station gets weak or we tune it off station and the dot zero five capacitor starts to discharge. It goes through the one meg ohm resistor through the volume control to ground. Okay, I've got this meter hooked up across 
and count on us. This capacitor right here, that's the dot .05 capacitor for the AVC. Now let's see what happens. My tune off station. See the negative voltage is heading positive, which is turning up the sensitivity of the tubes. There's the next station. It's a much weaker station. So it only goes down to a minus 1.6. I'll go back to the stronger station. I don't know. Uh, but we've been talking about uh, Mary Easley and her big raise. Uh, I think you increase the hours, you, you increase the pay. Byron, what do you think? Welcome to WPTF. Okay, now I'm going to add... A 33 microfarad capacitor in parallel across that. And we'll see what happens. This is where I'm going to add that 33 microfarad capacitor. It'll store a lot more electrons, and when I tune off a strong station, we'll see that it's going to take a much longer time before we can hear the weak stations. Okay, I've got the 33 microfarad capacitor parallel across that dot zero five capacitor. I'm going to tune it to that weak station. And notice how quiet it is. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn up the volume all the way. And see, that capacitor is slowly charging through those resistors. And as it discharges, the volume of that weak station is coming through. So call today, 800-957-6069, And it'll continue to get louder until it finally gets down to that 1.6 volts and then it'll stop. I think you got the idea. I'm going to take that lead off. Sporting News Radio 2 Live Studios. Is, is it me? Yes. Or has T.I. just you know, restarted his career like he had been mad for carrying a... I'm starting to think that the whole concealed weapon gun charges was... Go back to the strong station. All right. Well, so there may actually be an actual increase in how much we, the taxpayers, are actually paying for. Well, I, you know, and I'm, I didn't know this. I didn't. And if I understand you correctly, it's if you happen to teach as a professor in a field where that field in the area is making a boatload of money, you're going to be paid more. You stay out of malls. You can't hang out in the mall. It's an everyday person it has to be right. Get in the mall last two weeks ago before birthday bash, signing autographs with his posse. Shout out, T.I. Shout out, Ty. We love you, T.I. Holla at your folks. Love them, people. Clark Howard and Rush. News Talk 680 WPTF. You know, earlier we opened up the show, actually, with an AP story where it was a poll and it asked, who would you like to come on over and barbecue in your backyard? And, of course, I had mentioned Dennett and I mentioned... Uh